Hi there. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how to create a new blog using Blogger and also how to very quickly create your first post. So once you've logged in to your Google account, come up to the Applications button. It's these nine little dots here. And you won't see Blogger on the list straight away. You'll have to come down to the option for More and then you'll see an option for Blogger here. So when you click in on that, you're brought to the uh, main dashboard for your blogs. I created one earlier, which I have deleted, and that's allowing me to create a new one to show you how to do that from scratch. So here we've got uh, various different options for blogs that you control and also blogs on your reading list. Now, reading list blogs I will cover separately. What I'm looking at here is how to create your first blog yourself. So come over here to the option for new blog and click on that and it's asking you for a title so I'm going to call this title things I really should do okay so that's the title of the blog the next line down here is for the URL the address for it now with this you have to try trial and error because you might find that if you want to use something simple as your web address chances are somebody else has already used it. So if I try something like, say, my blog, it's saying this blog address is not available. Chances are somebody already has that address called my blog. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change that. And I'm going to use the same name as the blog title itself. The one thing to be careful of in here is you can't use any spaces. So I'm going to call my blog URL things I really should do and I'm told here this blog address is available so when somebody wants to go find finding my blog on the internet they will type in the web address things I really should do dot blogspot dot com or dot ie will also get to the same address so that's fine uh, template, I'm going to cover templates in a separate video, so I'm just going to accept the default simple template for now and come down to create blog. Okay, now that brings us to the main dashboard for this blog itself. Um, I'm going to quickly run through, the, through these options on the left hand side, but there's one in particular that I want you to change um, uh, from, from the start. Um, the overview is what we're looking at right now. It shows you how many page views that the blog has had, and right now it's, it's got none. Nobody knows about the blog yet. Uh, posts, if I click on this, it shows a list of all the posts that have been put into the blog, and again, there are none yet. Uh, pages that are in the blog, again, there are none. An example of how a page might be used in your blog is that your landing page for your blog might be the list of posts, but you might also have another tab for a section called About Me or Contact Me. So there are various different tabs you can use to create different pages. So generally speaking, the most basic blog will just have one page. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, comments, if anybody has made any comments on your blog posts, you're going to see them on here. Linking it to Google+. Plus. Uh, I've already linked it to my Google Plus uh, account, which is just a made up name called Just In Case. Uh, stats are when people have been looking at your blog post, where they've come from. So here we can see already, uh, it's only been up for about two minutes. One person here has looked at it and that person is residing somewhere in the United States. So you can see various different stats here, posts. Um, each individual post you put up will have its own stats associated with it as well um, earnings if you've got ads in there you might be able to earn some money from them campaigns are where you want to promote yourself on the blogs so you can grow your audience as the as the title says here um, layout is to do with the uh, physical layout of the different sections of your blog so you've got your about me section over here you've got your blog post over here so this is how it's going to be laid out Template is how it's viewed by the public. And you've got two previews here. You've got the web view preview and you've got the mobile preview. So it's good to know that this will work uh, and look decent on a mobile phone as well. There are loads of different options in Blogger for different template styles and I'll cover those in a separate video. 
The one I really want to draw your attention to straight away is the settings menu down here. So when you click on this, what I want you to do is to come down to the posts and comments. Now this is, a, this is I think, is an important one. If you're going to allow people to comment on your posts, and that, that's a good thing, and that can be a good thing, how is that controlled? Well, first of all, where are the comments located? Are they embedded uh, within the post itself, or are they hidden, or do they have their own pop-up window? I like to leave them embedded, and that means that anybody who's reading my post can read at the bottom of it what people might have said. Next one is who can comment. I like the idea that anybody can comment, if you use people that are only members of this blog or people that only have Google accounts, you're kind of limiting who might be able to comment on your post. So I like to leave that as anyone. However, to control that, because now I've got a situation where anybody can comment on my blogs, to control that I use a comment moderation and I use always. And I'm going to put in my email address here. My email address is uh, just for showing you at gmail.com and that means that if anybody does make a comment on my post I get an email first that allows me to view that comment and then I can either allow that comment to be published or I can stop that comment from being published. Now I'd never stop a comment that was uh, useful or had some critical feedback that was going to be in any way um, a good contribution to the blog to the blog post but I would like to keep an eye on it in case anybody used inappropriate language or made any statements that could be in any way um, libelous so um, word verification uh, that means that they have to type in a word before that they can actually put their post up there uh, backlinks again we don't need to worry about any of those so that's the only change I've made in the settings it's in the settings menu posts and comments and I'm just taking a little bit of control here over how comments get uh, posted onto my blog. So when you've made those changes come up to save settings and you're pretty much ready to go. If we have a look at the blog now, I'm going to come up here to view the blog, you'll see there isn't a whole lot of information in there. There are no posts, all I've got is just the title of the blog really. So I want to create my first post. So I'm coming over here to New Post, and do a left click, and I get a text editor appearing on the screen now. It has the usual text editing features like font styles, text size, bold, italic, underline, uh, text colors, all that type of stuff is on there. And I'll show you some more advanced posting options in a separate video. But right now, what I want to do is just get my first post up on the blog. And I'm going to first of all title it and I'm going to call it This is my first post. That's the title of it. And down here I'm going to just put in some text. Okay, so I'm quite excited to have my first post and I hope it's something that you're going to enjoy. When you've done that, you can go to publish, and that means that that post is now going to be live on the blog. I can also share it directly to my Google Plus profile. Um, I'm not gonna do that just for a moment. I'm just gonna click on cancel there. So now in my left-hand side of the dashboard, I've got posts all published one, and that is, that is the post there. So if I wanna look and see how that looks on the blog, I come up to view blog, and there's my first post. The other thing that's appearing here now is the blog archive, which didn't appear on, until now. And basically, as you build up your blog using dozens, maybe hundreds of posts, they're going to be archived by year and by month over here. So it's going to be easy for people to search and find uh, any particular post you may have made at, at a given date. So that's the first post made and that's the blog created and I'm going to cover some more advanced posting uh, options in a separate video.